Before we begin, please do know that these episodes will contain heavy spoilers on the story and gameplay mechanics that have not been introduced thus far. Watch at your own risk, and I hope you enjoy. Alright everyone, quick update. There is some unfortunate news with this episode in particular. It's not a huge deal, but one of my battles got cut short at the very end of it. I didn't lose a lot of footage, and it is at the very end, so regardless, but you will not see the ending of one of the battles in this video because my video got corrupted while recording somehow, some way. but I was at least able to siphon the majority of the battle. So you'll get to see the full battle, you just won't be able to see like the very last kill, for example. So anyways, I won't spoil anymore, and I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, but please expect there to be a very weird cut at the end of one of the battles in this episode. So please enjoy, and thank you very much. Greetings, Lunarians and Brigandine fans. I am your host, Fabio Sonari, back with the Holy Gustava Empire LP. We are getting into episode three right now, correct? Yes, it's th it's episode three. So last episode, we recruited Null, which was kind of like the um, staple of, of the last episode. So a new knight that was recruited by Iona for whatever reason. I don't know what the relationship is between the two knights, but I do want to check out his bio here in just a minute. So I hope you enjoy the episode. And uh, before we begin, let's go ahead and say it now. Vote. Make sure you vote on the next nation that you would like me to play. It is in the top right-hand corner of this video and all the previous episodes that I have released. Please go back to all the previous episodes and vote on every single one. You have the opportunity to vote multiple times for what faction you would like me to see play next. So, get on it. Okay, let's find Null. Um, he's right here. Okay, so at Lawrence, Null is right here. Let's go ahead and look and see what his bio has to say. I'm very curious. Okay, so if we move over to profile, that should give us uh, the bio here. This boy from a clan of assassins has been contracted to do the dirty work behind the scenes of Gustava's expansion. Rumor has it that nobody sees his face a second time because he's so good at his job. On the night before the war, he massacred all of his siblings in compliance with the clan's code that family skills may only be passed down to one successor. He's never had contact with others before, so when Iona approaches him, the apparent harshness is simply a front for his secret attraction to her. That makes total sense because otherwise he would probably have ignored her or killed her, so, uh, she's got some charm factors there, so, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen with him with the, throughout the story, because, like, what happens if, like, Iona defects or something like that, or we lose her for whatever reason, will he go away as well? I don't know what's gonna happen, so we may have more story behind this kid than, uh, meets the eye, so, anyways. Uh, so, let me fool with the formation really quick. I'm gonna make sure that everything is, you know, in the proper order like it should be as the original game, because, like, I don't know what to make of the deployment order it's just all over the place it's very random um because as we showed in the last episode my squishy units were in front and the uh heavy units were in the back even though i had it reversed but i've seen it happen the opposite way it's just i don't know it's all over the place so as we go throughout the game we'll see if it you know kind of fix fixes itself or like if i can figure out how to deploy uh properly or if it really is just random so uh we'll figure it out so just give me time Anyways, I'm talking too much. Let's go ahead and end the phase right here and proceed into the attack phase. What we can do. Angrain. Jiu has moved here from uh, the bottom castle. We may even have a, a harder time with this force because Jiu is no joke. A healer, Divine Ray, heals here, here, Bishop, and also Jiu as well. Pick has some thunder magic. Yeah, we're, we might get blown up over here if we attack. But... That doesn't mean I'm not going to try. So uh, the combat power is pretty much even. So and we can attack with uh, Noel, Coco, and Gaspar. So let's hope for the best. I'm I'm still going to commit. So let's go. Let's go ahead and commit to this one. And then that's it, right? All right, here we go. Do we get the first attack? Here's the capital. All right, wish me luck. This one's going to be a big one because if we get this, we get a huge boost to our mana income. There seems to be a lot of water in the Norzalio Kingdom. Alright, so there's a bunch of water on the back end, but we don't really have to traverse through water, thankfully. So, go one, two, three, and then head. Let's see how we deploy. Okay. That looks a little better. It's just not angled properly. Like, it needs to turn this way. <laughs> so. 
Are they going to share dialogue here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Jinja. Indeed. ここにおられるは第13代皇帝ティムグスタフそしてその妹ジンジャーグスタフ我らグスタフ一族の絆の強さ身をもって知るがよい戦うのだ正義と平和に満たされた時代を作るためによく about to be knocked out boy knocked out all right, wish me luck. This is gonna be a big one. Okay, we're starting. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot to hit the record button. Look at this, man. This is crazy. So as I was marching towards this capital, they stayed within that capital radius the entire time, forming up their defenses properly, making use of the terrain benefits that the um, the the, uh, the town or capital has. Because if I were to say, for example, move um, any ground unit to uh, one of those tiles, you have a rampart, which is plus 20% accuracy and plus 20% evasion. Same thing for town. And then, of course, the palace has 30% to both. All of this, they are making use of with every single one of their ground units. It's going to be hard, but I love it. It's exciting, man. I'm ready. So you guys better be ready too, because it's going to be hard. This is going to be a lot tougher. So they've already screwed up my formation over here, but that's okay. I can manipulate. I can uh, uh, maneuver it. So I'm going to keep you here for magic. Now, let's see. Let me zoom in one more. There we go. Uh, that means we need to bolster defenses here. Uh, numb by. Oh, you can already get to the to the golem. But you can't paralyze that. Um, let me see. You need to get here for real. Cover her. Tail whip. Okay, so our accuracy and evasion are going to be equal because we are both on the ramparts or town. So we have the same boosts, so it's not really going to matter too much. But if I try to attack these things from range, like with an archer, for example, it's going to be tougher to hit them because of their boosts. And there are significant boosts too, so um, 54%, 55%, we get less damage from the giant, or the Gygus, I'm going to say giant too, don't worry. Um, but you can potentially faint me, if that's uh, a thing. Um, which means I can't uh, counter attack, and I also can't uh, move. Let's see, and some stats go down too. Uh, let's see... You're all in range of healing ability because the unicorn's right smack dab in the middle right here. Um, my revenant's gonna probably bite bite the bullet, so that's okay. Um, didn't know how tough this was gonna be, but let's go for the uh, let's go for the golem actually because we have more attacking opportunity on the right hand side. You actually hit me. Good for you. Uh, let's see. We can't paralyze with this, but it's going to be something. Uh, this will give us an opportunity to put the demon right behind there. I should have really put the demon in uh, Ginger's spot, but that's okay. Ginger really can't get hit. Are you serious? You missed a golem? What was the percentage? I didn't even see it. I thought it was a guaranteed thing. Oh, man. It's not the original game, Valkos. It's not the original game, Valkos. Oh, do things differently, please. Oh, man. Mandrakes would, like, hit anything they had like the highest accuracy rate almost um of any monster and it's almost always 100 percent, especially against a golem even with boosts so yeah that's um that's different okay remove you here hopefully this can hold man this is this is going to be tough each battle has been tough uh thus far uh, let's see. This one is probably definitely going to be the toughest. 
Um, can you relax with that stuff, man? <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, do I put you here for snipies? I could because it's three, uh, three spaces away. I'm not in range of any breath attacks, thankfully. A Hydra is going to breath me, though, for sure. Um, yeah, this is fine. And we can still uh, attack from here, that's right. So we get 73 there, 128 on the Wyvern because it's super effective against it. Um, on the Giant. Uh, yeah, let's go for the Flyers, for sure. Nice, very good. She is now a, uh, a Ranger, I think? What's the class? Oh, an Archer, yeah. The class up from a Hunter. Uh, let's see, you can go... This breath attack is three away, right? Yeah, so these two units will get hit, but back here you won't. Um, let's put you... Let's put you here. Unicorn. Three away would be right here. Very nice. And to get more uh, stability over this way. So, that's perfect. Okay. Uh, hi, lizard man. Now, let's see. We'll definitely get breath if we put something here from the dragon. We'll just go here instead. Maybe they'll actually come out and meet me on the battlefield instead of staying back here in the castle. But from what they've been doing on my approach, I don't know if they will. So it's it's up in the air. I think I want additional support this way. We should be Gucci over here. So let's get Gucci over here. Very good. This is going to be hard. <laughs> Maybe not as hard as I thought. <laughs> that is the that is a mistake right there. That is a mistake right there. So, it was cool seeing them like maneuver around the castle and making use of the boosts, but putting the leader in front is something that needs to change. That is not good tactics. So that's okay. I'm not going to complain. I'm having fun. This is this is this is good stuff. It's already uh, much tougher than uh, the original, but still, uh, we've got some leeway here. So probably get rid of Jack here very soon. Very nice. We need a defensive skill there. That's more damage because blue against red. Very nice. I think. Yeah, blue against red. There we go. I'm going to try to keep him healthy as possible. Uh, I don't have any protection spells. It's A lot of physical stuff is coming at me right now with very little magic. Like, really all they have for magic is Rubino. Uh, or Rubino, sorry. Um, and I don't think the elementals do magic damage. I think it's still uh, physical damage, but regardless. Um... We can curse up Jack. We can get rid of Jack, like, right now. Uh, maybe even get the kill with, uh, uh, Tim. So, or even better, get the kill with the Revenant. As long as we can keep him healthy. Which is my plan. So, next to go is Shizzler. Um, I actually may have to... I actually may have to back him off. Um, but if I do that... I'm gonna have to replace the wyvern with him or, or or flip it because I don't want him to die if I can help it but he may die by chiseler coming in here and then attacking him plus he's next to a wyvern and a goal and a uh, giant yeah he'll definitely die if I keep him here um yeah I don't want to lose him so let me actually back him off because we put in some work so he's gonna back off and not get any damage whatsoever so run away and then we need to replace that spot with somebody because i don't want a giant coming in here and hitting ginger even though she'll probably evade it i don't want to take the chance um so this wyvern is going to go here instead very good okay so can we try to get a hit on jack 63 percent because of the castle boost um much better to hit this one, of course, but dang. All right, Wyvern it is. I can't take the chance on missing. I have plenty of damage. I can get him. I can get him. We have a breath attack. We have curse. We have Tim. He's he's dead. So, uh, throw the damage out. Plenty breath. Let's go up this way for sure. We get 
uh, Jack and we get Shizzler in the same token. Um, that's almost dead. This is a fantastic breath attack, man. Do it. Very nice. Okay. We can also move if we want to, which I don't really want to. We don't have to. Uh, let's see. How much damage am I going to do with your pre-move attack? 100%. It is 100%. Okay, it's going to do 237 non-crit. So, maybe I don't really need to do curse, depending on if Venom is uh, is good enough. Let me see. Um, Nope, I'm going to have to do curse. That's fine. That's fine. That being the case, I may not have to do the pre-move and waste my MP. So... Let's definitely do curse. Uh, yeah, he's gonna die for sure. <laughs> nice damage. Excellent. Uh, let's see if I can get it with a basic attack. I can get it with a basic attack. He has no shield block ability. Um, I don't think he does. No, the knights do. The fighters do not. He's dead. I get to save my MP. Goodbye. Yes. Awesome. This battle could have been a lot tougher if he didn't put himself there. Very nice. It's in the bag. We got this. Stick around if you want. It's over. Hmm. They really care about that wyvern. Ow! My poor wyvern might bite the bite the bullet here. We'll see. Come on, should be a miss right there. Really, golem, wyvern, you can't evade crap. My goodness, that would suck if that would have worked. Where's my perfect? My perfect wyvern is right here. I need to pay attention to that. To make sure I don't lose you. So we are going to definitely heal you up. Fantastic. Alright. Um, can we get some kills with uh, Ginger here? Get her some more levels in the, um, the priest front. Look at the experience. It says minus 31. I'm kind of confused why that says that. Uh, because... Um, you know, when you change to a class, you know, it said zero, uh, tier one class, it, it requires less experience to level up. So, it isn't taking any actions yet. So, I think that extra 31 experience will carry over into the next level, which is pretty cool. So, um, let's see. Can we get surround? We cannot. Unless I use this wyvern to do it. Um, that might be really beneficial, actually. But you're level nine. Um, Arc Demon has curse range. Let's see. First, one of the one of the two. It's gonna probably do more damage to the golem because it has zero intelligence for resistance. Let me see. Yeah, 268 as opposed to 229. Right, 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 right. Okay, so 152 right there. Um, I'm trying to get multiple kills with a Geno Frost with uh, Ginger if I can, but if I can't, it's not a big deal. Um, Let's see how much damage will frost do i love seeing that we can make this happen with like um or make better strategic decisions uh by looking at how much damage you will do to the enemy before you commit like your onslaught of combos it's pretty legit i like that 178 to here 151 to here okay i'll kill either one with a curse and a frost doesn't matter um i want to see what gina frost says though because yeah it'll show me here 121 here 94, 102, so I won't kill it with a Geno Frost and a Curse. But then there's also the Mandrake hit as well. Um, it's a powerful Geno Frost. I would like to do that, actually, because uh, it'll hit way back here with the Unicorn and Shizzler. So let's do the Curse first. Um, a guaranteed kill would be curse the Golem, hit the Golem with the Mandrake, and then do a Geno Frost afterwards. So let's go here. Very nice. Assuming I hit, because I didn't hit last time. What is the percentage? 84. Okay, please hit. Thank you. 
Ow. And then we do Geno Frost right now. Um, I can't weaken anything up to get another kill with Geno Frost, so we're just going to commit here. Go off the golem and do a ton of damage to the rest of the units that are on the castle uh, front here. So, uh, yeah, five units are in range. Go. I love the animation of the Geno spells in this game. It is legit. There's 16. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we got to get this wyvern out of here, and this wyvern needs some help as well. Everybody needs help. Uh, let's see. I don't really want to attack because if I get counterattacked, I'm probably going to end up getting crit and come close to dying. So, we may just hold you off because uh, Sylvie's turn is next. She has two unicorns here. Easily get my HP back up and running with that. So, you're going to wait. Okay. Um, you know what I could have done actually is replaced this wyvern with this one and heal those wyverns right here in the back. So I definitely want to make sure my perfect wyvern uh, stays healthy, the mana miracle one, which is this one. So back up there. And whose turn is after Sylvie's? Uh, it's Rubino's. Okay, and he's way over there. So my other wyvern is not in any, any real danger. So uh, Rubino won't do much. Um, heal on the level 9. Very good. Yeah, I should have replaced. I definitely should have replaced. Okay, not a big deal. So, the skills here aren't going to matter too much because there's no magic really to uh, be worried about. However, if resist, it's far enough. Yeah, let's resist the um, Bahamut. Yeah, because Rumino still has Frost. All right, uh, we have an archer here, three spaces away. We may be able to take out the wyvern. Uh, if I can get this wyvern in on that uh, hex, yes I can, yes I can. Weaken it up and then shoot it. If I hit it, 87, really? Why do you have 100 against me? You're level seven, okay, that makes sense. Brit, he's dead, he's dead. Archer shot for the win. Snipey snipe, let's go Sylvie. Yeah. Giga shot. Oh yeah, that's right. And this is an 80. Um, I won't need it, I don't think. Let me see zone shot. Yeah, zone shot will take it for sure. But like, this will cost MP and it, it's a double green attack. I did not catch that the first time actually. In fact, I don't think it tells you that uh, when, you're, when you're changing classes. But regardless, it's a double green, which will do super, super damage to a blue elemental. And especially if that elemental is flying. A flying blue elemental will be crying to their mother if you hit them with this shot. Okay, I couldn't think of a good insult. <laughs> Don't do giga shot, do zone shot. Don't waste your MP. Goodbye. It's a crit too. Damn. Even with no giga shot, that's still crazy good damage. Nice leveling. Very good. All right, let's see. This dude's standing strong, yo. Um, we should probably still attack the dragon because the dragon is not doing good damage against this lizard. Because, uh, first of all, we're higher level and we're higher tier and we're doing additional damage because we're blue against red. So keep going. Good job. Would be nice to, you know, proc that defense skill a little bit more though. So, you know, what you gonna do? You should retreat. Yeah, that wyvern's gonna feel it. <laughs> Oof. Ouch, 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 ouch. That's fine. As long as I don't lose the perfect wyvern, I'm good to go. So level four, I can afford to lose it. You missed me anyway. <laughs> awesome. If I can get rid of that golem, we're definitely in good standings against Norzalio. They'll have like nothing left to come at me with. So they do still have a Cyclops though. I think that's the only tier two I remember seeing, so. Very nice. Alright, so let's go after the Iron Golem next. Uh, let's see. Curse is in range. Him is in range for his ranged attack, which is, um, I forget the name. Binding Demon Blade, right, right, right. What's the accuracy, though? Because he is on the castle. It's still 100, okay, and it will do 98 damage, so not too bad. Um, will Venom do more damage because 
The golems have zero intelligence. It will do more damage, actually. Okay. So we can do that. Um, but does the... This doesn't cost MP. I'd rather save MP. Okay. Uh, let's see. Breath attack would be good because Rubino is in range. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do breath attack. Why not? It's a guaranteed hit too. Bam. And that thing can do three of those. Like, it's it's super powerful, man. It's really, really good. Um, stand by. We're good to go here. Uh, curse. That is a lot of damage. 225. What's the resistance for? Doesn't matter. It's only one HP. <laughs> or only one damage. Okay. Nice damage there. Very good. Is Rubino out of MP? He is not. He's still working with uh, some MP, so he can do two more heals if he wants to. Um, let's see. My perfect Wyvern can get in there and do some damage. Um, you know what? I can afford to go over there, however. Can I afford to move him out of that out of that hex? Chisler's next, so the giant is more, more than likely to come in there and hit uh, Ginger. Or the Gygas, rather. Uh... So I think I'll keep you here and start. Just keep on hitting the Gygas. You have 49% chance to hit me. Very nice. It worked and you fainted me. Suck. You really do suck. <laughs> wow. Okay. The RNG is working out from... Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to kill the Golem. Yeah, he's going to heal him. Uh, let's see. We might focus our efforts on the... Gygus, because if you waste your heal on the Gygus, that would be preferable. So, I can get in there with uh, Sylvie and also the Lizard uh, Man and stuff like that to try to do some more damage to the Iron Golem. This thing is hard to take down, regardless of like the magic damage that I did. It is tough. Um, okay. Let's see. Finding Demon Boy. That almost kills the dude. Oh my goodness. Let's commit to it. Yep. I'm good with it. Man, you like don't see any health bar right there. You should be dead. You should be dead. Let's see. Bring you over this way. Um. Yeah, in case I want to attack with you for a last hit. Might get the dragon, actually. Heal the Gygas. Really? You came into range? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I see you. No! Oh, that would have sucked. That would have sucked. Nice miss there. Okay, we're still going. Uh, you can't take action. That's right. You would have taken action on his turn. I didn't have a cure for it. Faint really sucks. <laughs> Don't get fainted. Um... Move in one for accuracy. Let's see. Will this hurt me a lot? Not too bad. I may paralyze you. But I could get the last hit with the Mandrake, actually. And we could be on our way to a Man Eater at level 10 for tier 2. So, let me do Venom and then that hit. Let me see. How much damage will Venom do? I know I can curse him. But that a curse will probably kill it. So, 84... And how much damage will I do here? I do have the Wyvern just in case. I will do 101. Okay, I can get this with Venom and then a Mandrake hit. So I don't have to waste Curse or MP. Um, I'll still have plenty left too. So. Or, 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 hear me out. Do I do a Tail Whip first? I could do a Tail Whip and then a hit and then use Venom on Shizzler or the Unicorn. That would be optimal. Let's try it. Good. Okay. We'll get in there and get the last hit with the Mandrake. Really faint on you too? Jesus! And the Gygases are uh, no joke in this game, man. They really aren't. I mean, they're taking from the, the Giants in the original game, but still, they're tough. Alright, last hit. Very good. Hopefully we can keep that Mandrake healthy. Level 7. Can we get a kill with Ginger? I don't think we can. Uh, 
use Venom on Shizzler and the Unicorn. That's basically it. Uh, we could try to Dimension one of them, but eh. I'd rather do damage. So, does Shizzler have any more heals? He's got one heal left. Rubino has two heals left, I believe. Yeah, he's got two heals left, so because he had 130. Um, let's hit up the Unicorn, actually. Yeah. Get it closer to death. 101, very good. All right. We can hit you with a Frost. How much HP do we have left? I don't think it's going to cut it. I'll check, but I don't think it's going to cut it. No, not even close. Okay. So... You'll take a ton of damage, but you are in range of two other healing spells. I need to make sure everybody gets low so they have an incentive to heal something else other than the Iron Golem. Um, definitely do a heal. Mm, you have... How many do you have left? You have one. We have one here, and we have one here. Okay, we're still Gucci on heals. Um, this is a level nine. Uh... You're fainted, though. It sucks. I want to cure the faint right here. If I get hit, then the faint will come off, but it'll be a bad hit if I do. Can't keep them stunned like this. I wonder if it um, eventually, like, comes off, like faint does sometimes in the original game. Um, okay, yeah, let's keep you healthy. I hate having them fainted. I want to cure it, but, you know... I can actually cure it with Spell Break, right? Yeah, because that's a status, that's a debuff, so I can I get rid of that with Spell Break. Um, yeah, you have MP. Cool, cool, cool. Mermaids are actually very, very good, even at tier 1. The free cure, because if you're not, like, buff heavy on your team, use them for cures on debuffs. It's fantastic. So, and it doesn't cost much either. Let's see. Frost. Let's see. I won't kill you. Get Shizzler a little bit more low. What about Charm? 42% chance, 73. We cannot Charm the Golem. That makes sense. Okay. That makes total sense. Um, yeah, because they can't be uh, affected by any status effect, actually. Uh, let's see. I do have heals if I need heal. No, I want to do damage. Yeah, let's do damage. Um... Whoops. Frost spell on Shizzler. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Alright, here's the archer. Oh, uh, let's see. See if we can get the golem closer to death. You know what I could have done? I should have targeted the golem with the frost spell. I probably could have killed it this turn. Um, that's okay. See. Heals for the unicorn. Let's keep you healthy, for sure. Whose turn is next? Rubino's turn. He has a heal. Probably definitely going to use a heal. No sense in using Frost. Um, we have heals back here. Nothing else really needs a heal from this unicorn. So we may relocate that unicorn somewhere. Let's go ahead and get rid of Faint on my uh, perfect wyvern. <laughs> it didn't come off! Really? That's not classified as a debuff? Maybe it's just for, like, stat debuffs. Let me read this again. Dispels all buffs and debuffs from any single unit within a 3 hex radius. But wait a minute, like... Didn't this get rid of Charm and, like, uh, it get, it's got rid of Poison before and stuff like that too, right? It doesn't work on Faint? Okay. I will remember. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. That's really upsetting. <laughs> okay. Um, do massive damage to this one with Giga Shot because it's a green on, or double green rather, on a blue. Man, Ugh, that's irking me right now. Gosh, so bad. We can kill this dragon, right? 
No, we're not gonna be able to. Okay, that's okay. Um, let's keep at it over here. Yeah, for sure. But I think we'll do Giga Shot on the giant snake because I want Rubino to heal something else. So I want to try to get rid of the Iron Golem because he's not coming in here for me to kill Rubino, so I can try to capture the Golem. So if he's gonna stay back there, then I'm gonna try to get him to heal something else. Ooh, that's a pretty cool animation. I like that. Okay, very nice. Um, any more healing? Could cure. See what's the difference? Yeah, see this this tells you what it removes, but I swear that spell break removed um charm earlier. Did I not do that on the previous episode? I could have sworn I did. Okay, never mind. Mermaids are a little bit less valuable than I thought. So maybe it only works on stat debuffs like weakness, you know, magic down, whatever. So uh yeah, don't depend on them for getting rid of your um generic status effects like poison and stuff like that. Okay, alright, we're learning. We're learning. So it's a good thing. Just uh yeah, we can't have our cake and eat it too, you know? Um Let's do a heal on the Revenant. I want him to get back in there. <clears throat> Frost, really? I thought you would freaking do a heal. Rubino, what are you doing? Your army needs assistance. Do a heal. <laughs> Don't leave them for dead. Oh man, your dragon's gonna get killed, yo. That is not good. We're gonna light them up right now. Bad news bears, yo. I think we can get a dragon kill with a revenant. Yeah, yeah. If we can get that revenant to level 20, spoiler alert, tier three is Lich. Can't wait for that. Oh yeah. Uh, if we can hit, we can uh, do an enclosure if we need to, but let's see if we can actually kill it right now. Green touch, 86%. I don't like it. <laughs> I never will like it. So we're going to move around, get an enclosure, and do it that way. 100%. He's dead. Goodbye. And we heal from it, too. Nice. 12. Very good. How close are you to 13? After this battle, he will be 13. Very nice. Okay. We can do a breath attack again up that way, hitting three units. Man, this battle is in the bag. I thought it would be a lot tougher than this. Jack really screwed them over when he just went in there and let me kill him. It was, it could have been such a, a much tougher battle than this. Did we kill the imp back there? No, we didn't. We came close to killing the imp. Um, do I want to move to give somebody else an opportunity? Uh, yeah, actually, I will do this. We can get enclosures this way. Um, yeah, let's move like this, for sure. Uh, can we get a pre-move kill on the golem with Tim? Yes, we can definitely do this. Uh, how much damage will that do? Okay, uh, wait, let me do that again. Um, it will do 199 damage, okay. So, if that's the case, if Venom can get him below, it will get him one HP below the requirement, and I can save my MP uh, for another Venom spell. So I don't need to use Curse. Very good. Let's do it. Iron Golem is dead. Him, you get the glory, bro. Do it. I love this move. Yes! That move is so legit. I love that move so much. It's my favorite, and it may continue to be my favorite throughout the entire game. But, you know, I'm not going to say that now. But still, that move is so good. It's going to take a lot to beat that one. He is level 20. Let's go. All right. So, as we know, leaders, or rulers rather, do not get like tier 3 or class ups or whatever. You can't change the class. Yet. I haven't seen anything yet that uh, suggests otherwise. But like, um, we'll see. We'll see what happens later on in the story. Um, let's see. Because if people remember, well, veterans remember, like, um, we received, um, 
like other class ups with main rulers uh, when they got to certain parts in the story, like or a certain level. So, for example, uh, in the original game, the main leader of uh, New Almikia, which was the the Red Nation, uh, if they took over the center castle of the map, the main ruler of that country turned king. He was crowned king, and he got you know different spells, he got new stats and stuff like that. So it could happen uh, where we have class changes according to story. So. Look forward to that for sure, if that's a possibility. Alright, we are screwing these guys up, man. This is insanely good. Alright, so can we kill off this... Uh... Giant Snake? Yes, we can. First. Goodbye. And then we're going to kill it, hopefully, with the Wyvern. Can we do it? That'll give you level 10. We can't. Okay. You'll still get level 10 after the battle, because... You don't you you need less than 200 experience um i would like to try and kill multiple with a geno frost do i have the mp i don't think i have the mp geno frost is 186 god damn they actually increased the mp cost by like 20 in this game from the original so that's a little bit more hefty <laughs> so use it sparingly please use it uh use it wisely Okay, can we get a hit on the unicorn back here? Let's see, because you can do a frost and kill the unicorn potentially if I hit you. 41 and then 86. Um, let me think here. I would like to get rid of their healers. Um, is this unicorn out of MP? Let me see. It is. Okay, let me see. I can't get around there unless I move the Mandrake. So I want to try to kill this one and this one in the same turn. But is it going to matter? No, it's not going to matter anyways because Sylvie's going next. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking too much about this. So it's going to happen. So you'll have to forgive me. Um, so let's try to hit the Unicorn. The back and then kill it with a Frost spell. Yeah, let's try this. We got the hit. Awesome. Okay. We should be able to do that. Dead. Perfect. There goes a healer. Goodbye. Very nice. Okay. We can't kill this thing right now um, with the wyvern unless we crit. Depend on that. But can we get this around? Not quite. Actually, no. I can do this. Um, I can get the kill with the unicorn, actually. So if I move the wyvern... Uh, over here, there's an enclosure. I can get the hit over here, move the unicorn here, and then get the kill. Um, however, I may want to get the kill with Sylvie because I want to get up to 15 as a hunter and then start cross classing. So, I think we'll just weaken it maybe and then um, do a pre move. But I think the pre move will be enough. Yeah, it'll be enough. So, let the wyvern attack something else. How about we go way back here and attack this thing? <laughs> so, there we go. Hell whip, and then, yeah, you're gone. It survived with 4 HP when I breath attacked it, so can't let it live that down. There is level 10. The waddle is on the horizon. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, so we might as well get a hit with the unicorn, get some experience. Let's see. Will it have a chance to miss me? Uh, it'll do some damage, but it won't kill me. So, yeah, let's hit it. Poke. <laughs> Ooh, critical hit. That's fine. We'll survive. Don't worry. All right, let's kill this thing with Sylvie for sure. I want to get some experience. Um, before we commit, let me see what I can do with sh weakening up Shizzler here. Um, back here. That's... 87 damage. Really do a nice counter, don't you? Um, you know what? I'm against it. <laughs> I actually am against it. Let's go ahead and kill the giant snake. Um, right here. Very nice. Level 12. How close are you to 13? You will get 13 at the end of this battle. Holy crap, this is amazing. Okay. Uh, let's get some experience with the spell. Um, we'll just do, like, resistance on somebody. 
Does Rubino have MP left? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Uh, we can't resist anybody in range anyway, so, um, of his spells. Okay, whatever. Um, let's just flight somebody. <laughs> um, want to do a flying mandrake? <laughs> Does that sound good to you? Uh, how about a flying Tim? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's do flight on somebody. We'll do it on Sylvie. I don't want people to lose their, like, their terrain bonuses on the castle because it's so good. You know, 20% on both accuracy and evasion. How can you pass that up, right? We are out of heals, so we gotta be careful here. Um, we can get up here and hit Rubino. It's only the two leaders left, so Rubino should do way less damage. Uh, yeah, for sure. So, let's go ahead and hit him. That is some garbage damage, though, man. It's so bad against the leader. Crazy. Okay, let's just stand by. We'll stand by. And you can retreat. <laughs> what? What? I'm confused. I'm very confused. Is it because it's their capital? Look, like, it's just... It's just him and Shizzler. Why is he staying here? It has to be because it's their capital. It has to be. I've never, ever, in my history of playing Brigandine, seen this before, where they are staying with just two units on the battlefield, with all of my units swarming them in this fashion. I've never seen this scenario before. And I know you haven't either, veteran players. This is crazy. I, I don't know what to think of this. I really don't. Okay. Um, if you want to give me the chance to kill Shizzler, then I will do so. Let's, uh, yeah, let's surround. Let's surround. I don't want to lose my high lizard man, though. <laughs> They're just toying with me, right? Like, we're going to kill your lizard man. Uh, no, you're not. Let's see. No one will kill my lizard man. <laughs> He will live on for the entire playthrough. Nice miss there. 22 Bahamut. This is going to be legit when we get the, him to level 30. Move out of the way. Give him another space for hitting. All right, Tim. Uh, Let's see. I got to be able to kill this guy. I can do Venom. I think Tim can do it because he has dark attacks. There's poison. Very good. Even if he doesn't kill him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How much will this do? It won't kill him. You know what I'm going to do. If I don't get a crit. Actually, you know what? I'm going to ensure this. If, uh... Yeah, I'm going to ensure this. What's Venom do? 46. Let me check the Revenant really quick. If I can get a kill on Shizzler with the Revenant... Good game, man. We are going to get a Lich very, very soon within the playthrough. So, let me see how much you'll do. He'll do 74. I can bring him down to 45. I got this. Let's go. Let's go. I'm getting the kill with the Revenant. What a grand opportunity, man. It's fantastic. <clears throat> All right. Let's get it. I'm ready. Zero. Oh, that's right. Elena is uh, Shizzler's uh, daughter. That's right. According to the bios. So. Wow. 1,040 experience for the Revenant. How close are you to 15? You will get 15 after this battle. Oh, man. Dude, this is turning out so good. I can't believe they stayed. I'm still in shock. I don't believe it still. Good on you, Rubino. Like, you have my respect. By all means, you have my respect. But, god damn, you're dumb. <laughs> you really are dumb. Uh, 
why would you do this? Let's see, Rubino's going last. I'm gonna kill him with uh, probably uh, Sylvie. I can't do anything more with Ginger, really. She's out of MP. Um, there's not really any point in moving anybody because I can't reach Rubino with any other unit except for the Wyvern up here. So, yeah, yeah, we'll put uh, Ginger in range. We'll make her go on the castle. Why not? Oh, Queen Ginger. There you go. You have your palace. So, uh, we'll go ahead and hit with the Wyvern up here. Wow, good game. Nice. 60. Why is the damage so low? Man, comparatively to uh, Green Edition, that would have done like 100 and some damage with a Wyvern attack. A level 10 Wyvern. Do you have like stupid crazy gear? I know you've got the Brigandine, but it only give, it gives you 15 defense. That's why. He's got 135 defense. That's precisely why that's happening. Okay, anyways. Um... I'll put my foot in my mouth <laughs> on that one. So, uh, okay. We can stand by and then get the kill with uh, Sylvie, hopefully. Yeah, because we got the lizard and hopefully we can get the kill um, with Sylvie. Let's see. You're at 250. This may be cutting it close. Will you kill me? If you crit me, you might kill me. I don't like that. Um... Let's see. You know what? I'm going to get the kill with this guy. Yep. That's what's going to happen. Can I reach? Oh, I can't reach with the unicorn. Let's see. We're going to try it. We get 76 damage. There's no way I can do it. He's going to get his turn back. Um, That's okay. Nice crit, though, but... He's gonna leave. If he doesn't leave when he gets his turn this time, I'm going to be super surprised. I'm going to call it now that I am dreaming if he stays in this fight. So I'm gonna pull this guy back since I can't kill him. I do not want to lose a tier 2. Because he will glory impact my ass if he stays here. So, uh... Yeah, we're not going to let him do that. Not giving him room to move. Let's enclose. Oh, we can hit. Very nice. That does 11 damage. Back away. <laughs> Back away. Just get an enclosure here. That's fine. That was a very interesting battle, wasn't it? <laughs> so that's where it happened, as I said before in the beginning of the video that uh, I lost the footage of the end of that battle, but it wasn't that much. We went straight into the next battle, which is this one right here. So my other team that's invading the castle of Amgrain over in Norzalio is this battle right here. So we didn't lose too much, thankfully. Um, nothing important anyway. So I was successful. Rubino did not come back with a vengeance and kill me in the previous battle. So we are good to go. And uh, we'll get into the class ups uh, later and stuff like that. Anyways. Um, Let's get into it. So we still need to march. We have, um, let's see, Coco's here with her team, along with the new knight, Null, which is going to be cool to use. And also Gaspar gets his first fight in here as well. This dude came in with dialogue, and he is insane. Once you hear his voice, you'll know what I mean. He sounds like the damn Joker. But, like, um, <laughs> this is going to be a hard fight, though. We've got a really, really hard defense to push through because we've got... Jiu here as a level 22 saint. She's got a lot of healing power. Along with a siren right here that has a frost spell. This is the tier 2 mermaid. Um, with the previous spell, so there's charm. And we have water here, so we have to be careful with that. Uh, and they still have a ton of mermaids here. So we're going to be getting into another uh, charm defense battle here, if you will. Um, I still got some heals around here, along with two more unicorns, I think. Maybe just one. No, I see two unicorns in the field and also a bishop. So they've got plenty. Of support we'll see if it holds out okay so let me go ahead and march and i will catch you in the battle here we go okay we have begun so we have some good terrain effects to take advantage of here so what happened was as you can probably tell i bit the bullet and trucked through the river because if i would have gone over here i can almost guarantee that they would have made use i don't know why i'm looking over here hi hi uh of the water with all of the uh, mermaids and stuff like that so 
Charm, charm, charm all day. No, no, no all day. I don't, I, I don't subscribe to this program. Okay. So, uh, we're going to continue into the mountains because Null is mountain terrain type and so is Gaspar, as you can tell. So if we go into the, in the uh, terrain, will it show me? Yeah, see, the bug is still here. So this needs to be addressed really quick. Um, usually when you hover over terrain, when you have a selected unit, it'll tell you if you're getting a bonus or, um, you know, a debuff on your accuracy or evasion. It's not here. So, like, in certain situations or whatever, it's it's bugged. It's not appearing. So that needs to be addressed for sure. But hopefully we'll see that in a future update. Um, let's see. I could... Make use of this spot here, which is mountain. You know what? Let me check because the thief I know has the pull ability, right? Yeah, they have draw tricks, so they can pull enemies closer to them, uh, whatever's within a three uh, hex straight line. Now, I do remember using draw trick in the demo, and what what happened was like, an, let's say for example, like um, an enemy's like three spaces back, and there's also an enemy two spaces back, so they're right next to each other, right? So here's the first hex, no enemy. Second hex enemy, three hex enemy. You pull both of those towards you, but it doesn't actually work that way. It'll pull the uh, second hex uh, monster towards you, but the third will not be affected. It'll stay in place, as if like the second one's blocking it. So keep that in mind, just to make sure you uh, take full advantage of your positioning tactics and stuff. But anyways, really cool thing though is you can move and use this in the same turn. That is legit, and it doesn't really cost that much MP. Anyways, um. Let's see, deal minor damage to a single enemy unit. Defeated, steal one piece of equipment. Okay, he's not going to get uh, killed right here. He's at full health. Uh, well, nearly. That's not a bad percentage against me. It's only 33%. Um, let me make sure I can bolster here before I commit that move. Uh, let's see. We have unicorns in range. Can this one get up in there? Not quite, not quite. Plus his dragon is still tailing behind. So, one more turn there. But I do need to protect Coco right here, because she is vulnerable. Um, make sure we get one monster here, and then one monster here. Or maybe even we'll get um, Null right there. However, that mountain spot is looking really good, just because of the bonus effects. So I actually might take advantage of it. So, and I think... Can the Lancers do range attacks in this? Let me see. They cannot. Okay, they don't have spear throw in this like they did in the uh, previous game. So, uh, she does have magic, which is divine ray, which is powerful, yes, but less powerful as a lancer type. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get her, in, her into the action. By the way, she's swamp type. She trucked through this water like no problem. Pretty cool. Alright, let's get him into the mountains. I want to commit this move. So. And swift cut will be the uh, optimal uh, thing here. <laughs> see if we get hit it's a miss yes 33 percent not good for you that's right you can move away i may actually do this instead so the wyvern can get in there and get a hit i totally forgot about double movement how could i forget um i want to be in the mountains though because of the bonus i don't know if anything's going to come from this way though because yeah nothing really is mountain terrain type except for the golem here and the cyclops so, uh, maybe the best move really is to just either stay here or come back to another hex like this one right here. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we'll go here. Right, positioning unicorns. This is the perfect spot right here, at least so far. Getting out of the water, very good. Be prepared for next turn. Wyvern can take your spot. Protect the demon and Coco. We got 54% against 100. Go for it. Miss. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Take advantage of those lower percentages. Those are going to do you well. Um, <laughs> see what I mean? He sounds like the damn Joker. Yeah. Uh, I can get here, but you don't have hidden away. Is the only problem. If you did, I would commit that maybe. Um, let's see. Fighting focus. This is attack power, right? Yes, for a limited number of turns. Okay, so I can position you and then use this, because I think I can use this after I move. It doesn't say it's restricted to a pre-move. 
but I don't think you can use it and then move. So be careful about those uh, skills like Iron Aura, for example, on Grottos or the Knights or whatever. They get that skill. Huh? You can't use it and then move. You ha you can move and then use it. Okay. So let's see. Let's put you. Hmm. Put you. Let's see. I want to put a monster. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get a monster there first. Um, I would like the dragon to go over this way for breath attack potential. Um, Blizzard cannot make use of the water. That's forest, I think. Or it might be that hex right there. These two hexes may be forest. Let's do... Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> and then we can use the skill, right? Fighting focus. I don't know how many turns it is, but I can only use it once. Um, I'm close enough to start taking damage and doing counterattacks, so yeah, let's just commit to it. Hooray! It won't be long before you can use it twice, though, so it's not bad. Alright, plus it gives you experience, so can't hurt on that. Over here. Alright, high dog. Do you have a hellfire? Let me see. Nope, just killer bite. They took away the hellfire from the uh, the basic dogs, the basic uh, high dogs or whatever. Maybe the fen the um, the fenrirs or the tier two uh, high dogs will get that later. We'll see. Um, let's be yeah, let's be here with it. It's fine. Wyvern. Um, I actually want you to be here. That's the good spot to be. There we go. Alright, come on, pick. Go. <clears throat> Show me some gusto, bro. Yeah, this was definitely the better strategy to not let them get into the water with all these mermaids. It's crazy how far away they backed up. Um, Ow! That's a faint. Oh my god. Oh, that's bad. That is really bad. Okay. Okay. A really bad hit, too. I want to heal, but... Faint. That <laughs> sucks. Okay. Let's see. I have Divine Ray. Let me see. We have 173 here and 181 here. I want to get rid of the Cyclops, like, really, really bad. Um, here's the problem. If we damage it too much, then Klaus is going to heal him. So we may be able to get away with one Divine Ray. Curse up the dragon, maybe. Or we can kill the dragon with the curse and also the physical attack here, maybe. But not get the Cyclops low enough for him to go for a heal. So, and then if he doesn't heal it, I can kill the Cyclops with the other two teams. So let's try to do a, a uh, curse on the uh, dragon. And then get the final hit with the Rockbird because I can't... Uh, I don't want to be counterattacked um, and then kill. I want to uh, damage it, then kill without being counterattacked. You get my meaning. Okay, so 72. That should be plenty for the rock to do at least 72 damage. We shall see. Are you strong enough? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah, more than efficient. 93 and 100%. You're dead. There goes a dragon. Okay, so nix those breath attacks. Get him out of there. Do not want. Nine. Are you close to ten? After this battle, we will have level ten. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Um, we could try we could actually cleanse this. Um and get away with it. Uh cleansing is fifty-four. So Yeah, we can cleanse and then heal. That's perfectly fine. I think we can do well with that. I'm gonna need it for more damage, um, on the Cyclops if need be. So we're going to Divine Ray. But we are not going to um, uh, do any more damage to it whatsoever. So hopefully the heals will stay away. <laughs> okay, that's not too much damage. Let's see what he does. Holy word, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, goodness, that looks so bad. That is so bad. We're okay, we're okay. It's not really that crazy, but... Yeah, that was a lot of units being hit, so... Which is the point of that anyways. 
You know what? I could I could pull the guy I guess this way. Um, if I do that, I can give him in get him in the range of a center shot, and also get him off of the mountain, which gets rid of his bonus. Um, yeah, man, that's that's amazing. That's gonna become like one of my favorite tricks to pull. Is the um, what's it called? Draw trick? Yes, yes, absolutely. That seems like the best thing to do, um, because we can get him out of range of Giyu's heals. Wow. That is so good. What magic do you have? Light and charm? Um, I'm just curious. 44% chance. Okay, whatever. Commit to the draw trick. I want to do this. All right. This will hit both of these guys, but I do not think it's going to pull the ghoul. And in the demo, it didn't pull the third one. So let's see what happens. Yeah, it did not pull the ghoul. And that does awesome damage too, in a straight line. That, and it's only 30 MP. It's really, really good. Um, let's see, do I want to move? I probably should so I can get another uh, melee hit in here. I don't think the dragon can get up there though. Um, let's move back one. Give some potential here. We can get a centaur shot. Very nice. Then we can heal the wyvern. Yes. Alright. We Gucci, man. This is working out. Not too bad. Not too bad. We still got some work to do, though. Um, Get a hit right there. Let's see. Dragon. Still can't get up in there, but next time. Next time. Alright, let's see. Does it matter if I do enclosure tactics? Nope. I'll still hit. It's still a terrible, terrible damaging hit, but you are only level one. He's got 44% chance to hit me. Um, yeah, let's commit to it. See? Nice. Three misses already from these guys. Good stuff. Okay, you are not adjacent, but I can probably get the kill with Gaspar. That would be amazing. And he has increased attack right now. So, he doesn't have any range. But, uh... Wait, he can do this too? Oh, wait a minute. Single enemy unit. Recover HP equal to 20%. This is the same as Breaking Blow with power and accuracy, but it costs MP. But it will heal me a 20% uh, HP result there. Or threshold. That's pretty awesome. Okay, okay, okay. I can dig this. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Um in there and make some enclosure. There we go. 163. I don't think it's going to be enough. Hang on. Let me do a hit and run with uh, the high dog. If I can. Should be able to. Let's see? I didn't see the percentage on his counter attack. Whiff! <laughs> All right. Can we get away? Yes, we can get away. All the way back to the starting position. Very nice. We have that. Okay, I think we can pull this off. Um, oh, I prefer the lizard to go in and hit. 74% chance. I do have defensive skill. This may crit as well. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Bad. Ow, he fainted me. Oh, man. One last result. One last stand. Good job, Cyclops. Um, he's dead. 100%. And then we can heal from this. 20%. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Gaspar getting them kills, yo. I like it. I like it. I like it. You crazy bastard, you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Healing would be optimal. I hate faint, but we're probably going to get hit anyways, which will take away faint. At least I think it will. So, let's go ahead and heal. We can cure later if we need to. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's see, what's our percentage here? 91 and 63. Um, sure, we'll commit to that. Defense skill? Cool, alright, that's fine. That's where the lizards really shine, man. They're weak at, th at the start, but man, if that defensive skill pops off, they make sweet, sweet tanks, believe me. My god, that hurt. Okay. Will Faint go away? Faint goes away. Okay. 
A crit paralysis. Yikes, goblin. Oh my goodness. That is that is so bad. I can't counterattack. Oh boy. It wore it wore off. Really? I thought that would last for the like the entire round. Maybe even more than that. Um okay. This thing is level nine. I do not want to lose it. Um What can we what can we easily kill here with a curse attack? The thing is if I use curse now, um I'll have one venom left and that's it, as opposed to using three venoms. Or was it four? Uh three. Yeah, it's just three. But um it's almost four, actually. If I had 180, I'd be able to do f uh, four Venoms. Uh, the question is, what's better? I think three Venoms is definitely better. Just to, uh, you know, focus down unit by unit. But I don't think a Curse is worth it in this scenario right here. Um, I can't Divine Ray. You do have a heal left, which is nice. Um, I wish you had freaking Spear Throw. I really do. Um, I could move you up, but then again, you have low HP. I'm trying to raise you to level 20 to master this class. Um, we definitely need a heal. That's for certain, but do I stay there and take more punishment? I don't think I should. <laughs> I think I need to replace this thing with something else. Uh, but what? Yeah, what can I, what can I do for that? Um, let me see. They can't really move on the mountains too well. In fact, I don't think the leaders can move on the mountains hardly at all. Maybe one space each. Uh, golems can get around there very easily. In fact, I think they have increased movement on mountain. Um, so what I think I might do is heal up the rock. Maybe retreat it. Also retreat the demon as well. Uh, back to this way because they are also low on HP. Did he expend all of his MP on Holy Word? He did. Okay, he has one heal left. This siren has frost. I have to be careful with that. Um, let's see. Granted, the demon's only level one. If I lose her, I lose her. But, you know, demons are demons. <laughs> they're expensive. And they're definitely worth keeping around, even at level one. Um, dang. Actually, let's see what the heal does for the unicorn first. Up to 290. Um, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> this wyvern's level one you can stay in front i wish i had like another creature i could replace this rock with on that particular spot because i don't want to like make the demon vulnerable but in all honesty she won't be that vulnerable from too many things like yeah you can get some enclosure tactics going on here but it's not really that detrimental because they can't do a lot of damage um she are you eating that side Heal Cure and Halo, eh? I may use my last heal now with Coco. Do we have more heals here? One more there. One more there. Which is legit. Very good. You still have a full heal over here, I believe, with two with uh, unicorns. Um, two heals left on that unicorn. We heal this wyvern here. That's level one. Um, nah. Let's keep this one healthy. Yeah sounds the best okay um we can keep you here and just kind of like harass the uh <laughs> the ghoul i suppose but this right here is going to do damage to all units within range i believe yep so not preferable to use that because that can uh inflict faint potentially so very specific uh move there all right, let's have the ghoul. If I lose that rock, I lose the rock. Really? You had to crit? Okay, that's fine. Level 10. So when the rock uh, classes up, you can either get a Phoenix out of it or a Simurg. So Simurg being a holy type, Phoenix being a fire type. So. I wish I had some protection magic. That would be nice, like an imp around or two so I could uh, get some more defense in my front line. That's what I'm really kind of lacking in this playthrough. Um, 
96 here, 82. These goblins suck because, like, they can do, like, infinite paralysis. Yeah, at range, which is crazy. Um, we really got to be careful about them. Let's see. Who's next? It's going to be Klaus. You don't have a goblin, but you'll probably go on full healing duty, right? Um, if you heal the ghoul, that would be preferable. I would like that a lot, actually. Let's... Yeah, let's do Venom. <clears throat> Not on the golem, but on one of the goblins, I'm thinking. Because uh, this goblin is in range of leaders. I don't want him paralyzing leaders. Uh, so yeah, let's start hitting this one up over here. on the ghoul. Yep. Good. He's out of MP. Alright. That works for me. Ouch. Nice. Crit back. Very nice. Counter crit. Alright. Let's do some more work. Man, Null is going to be one of my favorite knights for real. Like, just the ranger class in general. But, like, his story arc is really interesting right off the bat. Um, because there's a lot of mystery to him, but still, the class in of itself is really, really good. Um, okay. Let's see. I can get the dragon up in here. Very nice. Before I do that, though, let's do some hitting away tactics. Um, do it. I can get up in here. Hit the goblin. I wish I could do a steal and steal some gear, but I don't even know if he has any gear, so, um, yeah, swift cut is where it's at, so. Very good. Poison slash, yeah. I could have been poisoned right there. That would have been bad. Let's see. We can get a shot. Can the dragon kill the goblin? If so, I can save the centaur for something else. 100%, you're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No paralysis for you. Get out. Uh, let's see. More heals. The wyvern is still pretty low, but I only have one more heal with this unicorn. I may actually save the heal for more important monsters like this one. Because I really, 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 really want a phoenix. Because <laughs> phoenixes can heal uh, units around them. But uh, yeah, I would like to have that little uh, extra healing power there. I say little, but it's actually a lot. So um, this is green. Wait, no. The centaurs are no longer green element, aren't they? That's right. Okay. So, they don't start with orbs in this one, actually. The centaurs or the lizards. Um, it's just basically terrain. That's interesting. I got to remember that because it's very different. Um, regardless, you can you can actually block arrows, can't you? I saw that in the previous episode. Uh, hmm. Mm. <laughs> uh, we'll go. Yeah, we'll go here. Very nice crit. Okay. Bypass that shield. Hmm. We could take this wyvern elsewhere. Let one unit come into here and start fighting against Coco. And of course, they'll probably hit the demon, but still, we can keep the demon healthy. Um, this way, my, like, uh, my, um, decision to save my heals, uh, will not be, uh, will be in the best interest, so, like, uh, I don't know. I'm conflicted between two different things, moving it out of the way, or keeping it there and hitting, like, a low-accuracy unit like the Golem, but the Golem has increased accuracy on the mountain. Um, the Wyvern really is just not in a good spot. Um, you are in range of heals. I can, I can potentially kill that lizard with Gaspar's team. Yeah, it'll be it'll be gone with the Gaspar's team, so I can afford to stay here. Um, so in that case, uh, sixty-five percent, eighty-six percent. Man, a wyvern missing a golem. It's just not right. <laughs> it's just not right. Okay, we'll hit the uh, we'll hit the ghoul. So. Nice crit. We're getting some crits today. So is the enemy, though. <laughs> All 
Alright, very good. Um, we don't have a heal with this one. So this one is the only uh, opportunity I have to keep my level 10 healthy right here. It won't be like a maximum heal, but it'll keep a level 10 alive. At least for the most part. Like, it may actually die between a Divine Ray attack and another Thunderbolt, if you can do that. Can you do another Thunderbolt? You cannot. He's out. Okay. He can paralyze, but he can't do any more damage. Wow. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Um, I still want to keep the uh, Rockbird topped off, though. So let's do that. We can always heal the Wyvern with the other Unicorn anyways, if we want to. Okay. Let's uh, kill this Lizard over here. You're hitting away. Nice defense skill. I respect that. Okay. Um. Do I potentially get Gaspar the kill? You know what? <laughs> huh? We can get close to Klaus here. Um. Can I actually get up in there? I cannot. This little unicorn is blocking my way here. Interesting. Okay. No, no. The lizard is actually blocking my path. Um. Screw you, lizard. 62. His buff is gone already. Um, let's see. Something like this. If we can kill it with the lizard and then the wyvern as well, that would be optimal. Okay, hang on. I have an idea here. Um, let's see if we can get it with both monsters. So, attack with this. Hopefully we hit. <laughs> okay, nice. That wyvern might die. That's okay. Um. Yeah, this is optimal because I want Gaspar to go here to be most protected. So. Kill. Nice. Assuming he doesn't block. <laughs> I think about it like at the last second, like, don't block, don't block. So, very nice, very nice. Okay, and Gaspar can get up here and get a hit on Klaus if I want to. But I may actually attack the unicorn. Let's see, okay. For heals here, um, I don't know. I think I still want to save it because losing a level two Wyvern isn't that detrimental. And we still have a lot to chew through. So I think I'm going to move up one space and wait. All right, there we go. So be very choosy with your heals. Like try to balance it between losing like a low level monster and taking care of a high level monster or leader. You know, you can run out of heals very quickly if you if you just kind of don't like use them willy nilly. So be very right. careful. Um, let's see, if he goes here, he's got potential to be enclosed, which is not good. However, 83%, 100%. It's better damage, yes, but I'm attacking him while he's on the palace. So I would rather try to uh, damage the unicorn. And my other unicorn is out of range. Crap. Um, do I just go for golem and call it quits? <laughs> 108. I'm in range of frost. No, that's okay. We can keep the unicorn out of uh, the command area. It's not going to matter too much. They don't lose intelligence, I don't believe, while they are out of the rune area. Just kind of like attack and defense. So, we'll check here, actually, in a moment. Um, okay, go. That's right, it's a knockback. I forgot about that. I should have remembered. I may have done something different. I actually may have tried to knock uh, Klaus off of the castle. That would have been pretty cool. That's fine. Keep hitting the Wyvern. I don't give a damn. Nice miss. This Wyvern is MVP this episode, though, because he's he's evasion taking like crazy. It's amazing. Ponju, uh, waste your divine ray on me. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. Oh, rip Wyvern. Been real, bro. It's been real. She does have another Divine Ray potential, though, so we have to be careful. Ow. I'm gonna lose my demon. 
five damage. Oh my god, that is so bad. <laughs> oh, yikes. Yikes, yikes. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, curse. Let's see. I want to check on something real quick. You are out of the command area. What's out of... Yeah, it's actually called out of command range. Um, this unit has, is outside of your knight's command range and has lost their mana blessing. Attack, defense, and magic power decreased. Okay, so they will do less heals. So it's in my best interest to bring Gaspar back in range of that unicorn so it can heal at full potential. All right. Uh, let's see. This is enclosed, so we'll do uh, increased accuracy to it. I want to see about uh, doing more Venoms. Either do one Curse or two Venoms. Venom seems to be the best bet in this scenario. I want to get rid of this Siren. In range of Breath Attack, we can probably get um, a Hunter Shot. We can definitely get a hit in the way with Null. We actually may be able to kill the Siren under Tier 2 Monster. We've killed the Cyclops already. Let's try to kill the uh, Siren. <clears throat> Who's next? Klaus is next with a unicorn on his team, so I can't damage that thing too heavily. Um, but I can do a pre-move right here with uh, Coco. Nimble Slice. Let's see. Deals minor damage to all units within one hex range. Oh, never mind. So this will do damage to everything within one hex. Okay. I don't want to do that, because that will hit uh, your allies. But we'll just stick to this. 73%. Um, You're still on the mountain, that's right. Um... Dang, 65? That is bad because of his protection spell. Man. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Not too great, actually. You know what I might try? Is the uh, skill here with you. It may faint the demon, which would suck. But then again... I can potentially faint a whole bunch of things around. Um, I would have to move my uh, leader out of the way, of course, and my unicorn. But if I do that, um, no, it has a chance of hitting the dragon. The dragon needs to do a breath attack. Um, yeah, it's very choosy. It can be very risky. Uh, nah, I shouldn't commit to it. I really shouldn't. Okay. Let's, um... <laughs> I don't know, man. The most damage, of course, is against the ghoul, but, like... Yeah, let's just go here. That's fine. <clears throat> as much as I want a phoenix, I may not be getting it. We'll see. Hmm. Do we go over and hit Klaus? We could. He doesn't really have a lot of monsters on his team. He just has a unicorn and... Another mermaid, which have full MP. So they have their uses, but... If I do that, I'm probably definitely going to get, like, walloped over here. But they don't have a lot of physical power uh, physical power on their team right now. But there's a frost here. And there, and I can be enclosed, which is not good. Who's after Coco? Klaus. Hmm. You know what? Let's go. Let's see. No, that's stupid because I bring uh, them out of the rune area or the uh, command range. I need to increase her command range. What is it, three? It's only three. Man. Yeah, that command range needs at least one more hex. That is not good. Um, let's go. Yeah, let's go here. That's fine. Understandable. Okay. So now we have even more hits on Klaus if we want to. So, but I definitely want to kill the Siren if I can. Um, either go for Klaus on the castle, mind you, or go for the Siren. There's no way I'm killing Giyu, so I don't have a chance in hell in capturing this thing. Unless they really, really screw up. Um, okay. Let's get... <laughs> Let's get a breath attack first, I believe. Yeah, we've got to get rid of the siren. Alright. Breath attack this way. 
So, 65 here, 98 there. Damn. All right. I'm about it. Pretty good. Uh, let's see. So, I want to try to get the kill with Null if I can. So, if I'm here, I can hit up the uh, Scion with, a, with an arrow. 100%. 135. Can Null do 135? You only have another unicorn on your team. Not gonna work out that way. Wait. I can get in there for one more hit. I'd be sacking the unicorn pretty much, but I can get in there for one more hit. <laughs> Let me see how much damage I'll do. With cut. 134? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wow, that's insane. I legit need one more to kill her. He's one less. Okay, assuming he doesn't crit or the center doesn't crit. Alright, let's commit here. Yeah. One HP off, man. It's good that we see it now before we commit attacks because so many times, you all veteran players know this, we've been screwed over by an enemy lasting with one health but we couldn't tell if it was going to happen like that but here we can so all right yeah she's got to go she's got to go did you bye <laughs> 134 one hp off can't believe that awesome level there Do we want to do a hit and run? Oh, we can only go here. <laughs> if I go here, he's enclosed. That's not good, so you're in a standby. All right. Let's start hitting up uh, Klaus, I believe, because we can get enclosure here. So. Yep. It's going to happen. Let's see how much. 72. That's fine. Shoot. Yeah, putting that unicorn there was definitely uh, a good move, for sure. Not just to get the last hit, but to, you know, get more enclosure tactics happening here. So, hit and run right here. I don't think we'll kill him. But we're going to come close. I almost stood by. Please don't do that. <laughs> Stay on the road. Optimal movement there. Uh, let's see. I want to get the kill with Gaspar if I can. Um, so, go here with you. He'll almost counter kill me. He may crit me, actually. Um, I can't kill him anyways. It's not going to matter. Gaspar can't do that much damage. Uh, we're going to hit you anyway, maybe. Nice crit. Nice crit. Shoot. It still won't be enough, but nice crit. See how much damage we can do. Yeah, not even close. <laughs> We're gonna try it out though. <laughs> this dude's nuts. <laughs> All right. So you are out of range of, uh, or out of um, the command area. So. I still may heal the demon regardless. Um, it's still a powerful heal. It's not that bad. Um, I only have one left. This is optimal if I want to keep the demon around. So, uh... Yeah, let's do that. Alright, pick. What do we got? Anything? Yeah, that would have been bad. Excellent. You? What's up? A hundred heals on, on the castle. Yeah, man. Oh, good. I thought she was going to target. My god, I'm white elemental. Seriously? She has some damage. My goodness. That's crazy. I, I got to remember like that. Um, the uh, If you have the same element um, of the attacking element, you're not going to resist it in this game.
It's just going to be like, um, even dam like normal damage. I, I gotta remember that. Like, that's a huge uh, mechanic to get lost in for real. Okay. We're in close over here, Noel. We gotta save you, buddy. Um, you still have protection on. I hate that. Uh, let's see. Unicorn, really? Um, you can only hit the golem. You don't have good opportunities here. Do you still has MP for like a, what, cure maybe? So they're pretty much out of MP. They can't really do any more damage, to be honest, unless they keep uh, their golem healthy, which is easy to do because it has freaking protection. Um, which I'm really starting to see the OP-ness of it. <laughs> um, let's see. Venom. Do we try to get rid of more healers on their team? No point in attacking Zhiyu. Yeah. <laughs> Opportunities there. Uh, you're enclosed. That is bad. That is really bad. Um, it still doesn't go away here. Yeah, because the golem's there. That's what's making the enclosure happen. Man, that is a really good tactic that they pulled. Do you see what's happening here? They put a really tanky unit already, put protection on it, and then enclose it on purpose so they could create more enclosure within the golem and then the rest of their units. Now I have two enclosed units because of that. That's insane. That is a really, really interesting tactic there. Let's see. Whether it's intentional or not. <laughs> It's still really good. Okay. We're fine. We're not going to really get hit hard by any damage. Just got to outlast him. Nice crit. Very good. I can't move anywhere except to hit the golem, which is stupid. He's not on a mountain anymore, but... 65 damage is so bad. I know your strength is low, but... Still, what is your strength currently? 77. It's not terrible, but 65, man. Crazy. Um, I can't really do anything with you. Nothing effective, anyway. Um, stand by. Yeah, stand by. Alright. No, here we go, buddy. Um... Let's see if we can do a Shadow Steel. Do we have any gear? No gear here. Nothing here either. <laughs> so, yeah, Shadow Steel is going to be very uh, situational. We could hit up Klaus again, but he's going next, and he'll probably retreat or get healed by this Unicorn. He's probably going to get healed anyway, so it's in my best interest to keep him low. Joey. Will I hit my Lizard if I uh, do Draw Trick? Yes, I will. Yeah, he'll come close to dying, and he's level 8. But, I may be able to actually get the kill here. Let me see. What's the accuracy here? 54? Yo! Okay, that's bad. Um, how much damage will I do? I will do... 98. It still won't be enough. Okay. That's fine sucks, but that's fine. So, let's focus on the healer anyway. We get a ghoul kill, but ghoul's a ghoul. Whatever, you can keep it. Um, and then I can move him out of the way, do a breath, and then kill the ghoul anyways. Maybe even kill the imp. So, yeah. We have 74. Go. Nice. And no kill it. Shit you. Out of enclosure, which is optimal. Kill. Yes. We're going to have an awesome thief in this game, man. Noel is going to be the assassin. Alright, uh, let's see. We can stand by here. This is fine. And then breath. Kill the ghoul. Maybe even the imp. No, not even close. <laughs> but we'll kill the ghoul. Excellent. Excellent.
<laughs> I have to say though, man, like they really made me um not care about hitting the golem like a lot. Because the damage is just so tiny. It's so little. <laughs> Dead Wyvern, you served your purpose. Good job. Okay. I can't kill Klaus, man. It's just too hard because he's on the freaking castle. Um So, what I think I might do instead is to first of all get you out of the way. No sense in losing you. Yeah, so we'll wait here. Um hit and run. I can get up to the unicorn. We can definitely get a kill on the unicorn, so let's uh bring the lizard around. We have 100%, very good. Nice power. We shouldn't lose it because they can't really do any damage with their uh, current units. They have like no physical except for the gold. It's like nothing. So uh, let's see if I can get a hit and run. Because it's going to knock the unicorn back. I want to keep it here so I can get the kill. Okay, can we move? Yes, sir, we can. Man. I'm locking the uh, the hellhounds or the high dogs in this game a lot better now. So They're really good in the original game. I used them a lot, but this one seems to be a lot better for whatever reason. I don't know what the biggest difference is. Um, Alright, kill. We got two kills today with Gaspar, right? Two kills with um, Null. We're cleaning house, man. The only thing I didn't really capitalize on is trying to get kills for Coco, but it was tough. Paralyze the demon. Okay. I don't like that. What we gonna do, Jiu? We need a retreat. Ugh. Crit 43. Man. At least his defense buff is off. Okay. So. Um, can I try to get a kill with Coco? That would be awesome. I might. I might. Um, it's going to be a tiny kill if I can manage it, but it's going to be a kill nonetheless. So, let's go ahead and use our last vent. Can we? We can't. Shoot. Um, I was trying to go, uh, kill this mermaid. I can still do it, just the demon's, the demon's done. So, we're going to have to move you out of the way and not get you hit anymore, because... Yeah, you're going to die. <laughs> I want to keep my demons. Um, let's see. You're good. Can you get a hit on the uh, mermaid? You can. Um, can Coco get up? No, you can't. Okay. Let's play the smart, though. Over here. Yeah, out of enclosed. No, we're still enclosed, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, we definitely should be able to kill it. <laughs> I was going to say, don't kill it. I want the experience for Coco. <laughs> See if we can do it. Yep, that's a kill. It's a tiny kill, but it's a kill nonetheless. We got some good experience. There's 16. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. We just need to really, really get her a um, a, uh, a command range because having just three command range is terrible. It is so bad. So, uh, yeah. That needs to change. Um... 33 damage. Yeah, sure. We'll try it. <laughs> Might as well. Retreat. Really, man? Again, this battle as well um, is doing the same thing that the last one did. They're staying for so much longer than I expect them to. They have basically nothing. Weird. Okay, let's see if we can get this. Um, Dragon, you can get over here. You can't get up here, really? This freaking golem, man. <laughs> this golem has been a thorn in my damn side for this entire battle. Um, okay, well, we can do a hit and run. We might get the kill with the dragon, if that's possible. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we can shoot from here. Uh, 63. Got it. Joey. Cut. You know what? I would love to pull him off of the um, 
Yeah, I would love to pull him off the castle. Hang on a minute. Hang on. I can do this. Yes. I can do this. And the dragon can potentially go on the castle. It's 98. Can I actually get on there? I can! Right here! It's official. Draw trick is my favorite move so far. As far as like tactical moves go. Animation wise is Tim's Imperial whatever it is. I forget the name of it. But uh, for tactical combat, that right there is my favorite. And I knew it was going to be a favorite too. Because it's new. I haven't, uh, we didn't, we never had some, anything like that in the old games. Wow. Good game. I can get a, um, a pre-move hit right here. Do you have a pre-move? We can't do Thieves Ever Cut. That's fine. Um, we got the kill. Go. That's four kills for Gasp. <laughs> And you should have retreated. <laughs> Man. 14. How close are you to 15? 850. Not too not too far away. Another battle, he'll be 15. Man. What a tactic. I love it. I absolutely love it. Ow. <laughs> Despite being a saint, she uh she packs a wallop, doesn't she? You know what? They still might stay for this. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them. Not smart to attack Giyu, which is ridiculous because she's a freaking saint, but she still does good damage. So, yeah, stay here. Ow. He's retreating. Oh, good. Okay. All right, this makes a little bit more sense. So, because last battle, they legit only had uh, Rubino and Shizzler on the field, and they stayed. So, it's making a little bit more sense now. Probably because we also um, took over the castle right here on the map. That's probably another influence. Awesome. I have to say that was one successful battle, yo. I didn't think it was going to go that well, actually, because this was like the less strong team of the two. Oh my gosh, I wish I could rewind that. Oh my god, that was funny as hell. <laughs> he just kept laughing and laughing. Oh man, good stuff. Victory! Boom! Yeah, yeah. Let's see what we get. Any uh, level 10s? Level 14 for Null, very good. Getting up there to 15 to Master Ranger. I'm getting me a phoenix, bro. I'm getting me a phoenix. Just you wait. It's gonna happen. Can't wait. You can really... See, I, I, I was talking about the draw trick um, before in like one of my guide videos. Saying how good it would be for enclosure tactics. And that's precisely what we did. As well as pull him off the castle and then put somebody on the castle. You know, you can do that with knockback too. But like a pull... Perfect for enclosure tactics, man. We came out on top on that one for sure. Good stuff. We have a scene. Restored page. Holy Gustava Empire. Is this our first global scene, maybe? Long ago, this land was desolate and covered mostly by rock, which made farming crops or raising livestock impossible. And over time, outcasts, criminals, and rebellious knights from across the land began to settle here. The land became well known, 
as a haven for exiles and drifters. However, this wasteland was also home to a species of wild horse known as the Talon. A Talon is a horse. I've been wondering what uh, those uh, what what they were talking about with Talon. It's a horse, okay? The Talon were energetic and needed only meager amounts of grass to thrive. They were also fierce animals that sometimes even cannibalize each other. Yikes! To the people living here, the Talon provided a means of survival. Whoa! They were used as mounts to raid towns and other nations for food, or they themselves or they themselves could be slaughtered for sustenance. Who is this knight right here? It looks very specific. I want to know who this is. But being a land of drifters and criminals, conflict among the people never ceased. I wonder if this is like um uh what was what was the name? Sin Gustav or what was the uh, previous one? Not Alsin, that's one of my knights. I forget the previous name. But, uh, maybe this is history. Into this conflict rode a former knight of Norzalio. Exiled for his involvement in certain events back home, his name was Asid Gustav. Yeah, yeah, I was right. So, this man had no vision of building an empire. But he became the leader of the poor and lawless bandits, and together, they attacked towns and stole whatever they could. Over time, however, Asid's successors and their followers would form a strong and resilient people. And after the Gustav Uprising, or Gustav Incident, as it is known by the other nations, the Holy Gustava Empire was born. That is so cool, man. I love the history so far in this nation. I knew I would, too. Awesome. So we have successfully taken over uh, Norzalio's capital. I want to check something really quick. Let me see the summons here. Let's see, we have imps, very good, which I don't have access to yet. Uh, the elementals, lizard, rocks, giant snakes, and angels now. Very, very good. I didn't catch any angels in, in any of our um, uh, castles that we had at the beginning. Maybe there is one in one of the castles that we didn't look at. But uh, regardless, we can now summon angels. So here's the good thing that's going to happen here now, is that we have two teams here, right? This team is now free to move uh, to here and continue the offense unless I continue with this team next turn. But if we take out this castle next episode, because I do not have time, um, then Norzalio is defeated already. And it'll be season eight if I decide to commit to it on this castle right here. But I'm probably going to end up killing off Norzalio with Tim's team. So this is, of course, assuming they do not attack Hornworn and win. So we'll see what happens. Okay. So anything else with like classes and stuff like that, um, I will do the organization phase on the next episode. So I'm going to call it here. Thank you all so much for enjoying me, for enjoying me. <laughs> do you enjoy me? For joining me in this episode of the Holy Gustava Empire in Brigandine Legend of Forcina. And if you wish to have any more access to Brigandine resources, you can find all, we can find everything, all the resources in the description below, including my guide videos and tutorials, etc. for beginner intermediate and advanced players if you have not voted already on the next nation you wish for me to play you can find the poll in the top right hand corner of every single video that i have released on the holy gustava empire that means you can go back to episode one two three whatever that i've already released and vote on every single one so that way you can lock in your vote and get as many votes as possible for the nation that you want to see me play so without any further ado i am your host bagua Sonari. see you on the battlefield rune knights Peace.